what's up you guys welcome back to the channel i'm back again with another video after a very long time i'm so sorry but i'm back again and today we're going to be having a discussion this is a sit down video this is a one-on-one -on -one, and i'm so excited to bring you guys along with me in this video stay tuned so you guys today we're going to be talking about how I'm really feeling about getting married in my early 20s. <laughs> I think the first thing that comes to mind for me is how did I get here? And I don't mean that in a negative way. I just mean I can't believe that this is actually happening. You know, it's so interesting. When I was younger, I think I always knew that I would get married quite young. Um, it was always at the back of my mind. Um, I had a lot of revelations about it and, you know, I just didn't know how it was going to happen. And as a young kid, you know, watching Disney Channel, wanting to be a princess and, you know, waiting for your Prince Charming, that just seemed like a very distant dream for me, if that makes sense. It didn't seem like... I don't think I was really convinced in my heart that it was what God wanted for me, but I definitely held on to it and I think I've always known the back of my mind. I mean, I'm not surprised or shocked that I'm here right now, but it's just mind boggling that it's actually happening. It feels extremely surreal. You know what, I'm going to bring you guys into the first few months of my relationship with Cam. Um, I remember when we first started dating, of course, because we both serve God and we wanted to honor each other, marriage was kind of always there, but it was a very like far-fetched thing. We knew that if we were deciding to be together, if we were deciding to date each other, that we wanted to do it the right way. We also knew that maybe somewhere down the line, um, marriage would happen. So in the beginning, I wasn't 110% sure, but we never entered into the relationship with an out if that makes sense like we knew that if we were deciding to commit to each other that we were going to do our best and work hard to make sure that it was going to be a long-term relationship although we were still thinking of marriage it was at the back of our minds we had no clue that it would happen way earlier than we planned we definitely didn't expect to be here um, but god had other plans a very big contributing factor to why we are getting married now is COVID. It's actually crazy, you know, COVID was crazy and it wasn't, it was tough for a lot of people around the world and it was tough for me and Cam too, but I think that what birthed this season of my life was that hardship, okay? One day I can go into details about how COVID really shaped, churned, stretched, refined, purified <laughs> my relationship with Cam and my relationship with God. Um, but let's just say that during that time period, um, a lot of discussions were had. Um, I spent a lot of time by myself, a lot of time with God, um, and really analyzing and being still and trying to listen to what God had planned for me. And I think that's where marriage was first brought into my, my front view, if that makes sense. Cam and I first had a conversation about marriage during COVID. It definitely opened up a whole different part of our relationship that we didn't know. We realized that we had been dating for a couple years and we actually didn't know much about each other. COVID forced us to tackle, to deal with some very, very tough things, to really, really learn each other, to know each other. And I think after that, it was like, okay, <laughs> Okay, we passed the test. We can definitely focus on marriage now. So I know how we got here and I understand why God wants this for us and wanted that for us. Um, but it's still like, whoa, <laughs> all those uncles and aunties were right. My mom was right. My friends were right. I'm actually getting married young. <laughs> the next thing I would say about how I'm feeling about getting married is I am extremely excited. You know, I've learned that marriage is not a fairy tale. It's not fun and games. You know, it's not just for playing, okay? Um, I know that. And I also know that in my walk with God and in everything that I've been given, every blessing, every new challenge, every new level that God has brought me to, um, it's it's... It's gonna have its times of um, 
hardship. I know that. But that doesn't take away from my excitement anymore because I know that I serve a living God. I know that as long as God remains the center of this relationship, as long as he remains the center of this marriage, as long as Cam and I make ourselves vulnerable enough, available enough um, to be molded by God, to be shaped daily by God, as long as we intentionally decide to commit to each other, to love each other, to continuously date each other, to put each other first, after God, of course. Um, as long as we decide to show up every single day for each other and in this relationship, in this marriage, as long as we decide that regardless of anything, we are going to be here for each other. There's nothing, there's nothing that'll stop me from enjoying my marriage, um, no matter, even through the hardships. And so I am excited. I don't say that to say, that I'm excited for all the fairy tale stuff and I have a, a false idea of what marriage will bring. I'm excited even though the hardships will come. I'm excited even though the storms will rise. I'm excited even though the waves will shake us. I'm excited even still because I know that I'm marrying the person that God has for me. I know that I'm in God's perfect will for my life as it relates to marriage. And I know that God's hand is in this relationship. I've seen it many times, so I'm so excited. I'm so excited for what life will look like for me after this. Um, I'm so excited for where God will bring me. Um, and that kind of brings me into my next point about how I'm feeling about marriage. You guys, um, let me just tell you, I'm somebody who is very independent. I'm very much... <laughs> y'all I do things on my own okay and I've always done it I left home at 13 and been in boarding schools and my parents like really really trust me and so I've really navigated life alone for the most part honestly um, for a very very long time I didn't have a lot of friends um, I still don't have a lot of friends but I was very 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 much on my own um, God was really the only person bringing me through God's grace and mercy um, and the Holy Spirit were the only people okay that were with me and so I I realized that I took a lot of pride in being able to handle things on my own being able to just do what I want and um, I've been pretty good at it <laughs> I know that one thing that I may struggle with in marriage is control. I'm just being very, very vulnerable with you guys. I know that I will probably struggle with control. I'm not speaking it over my life. I'm not speaking over my marriage. It's something that I've already discussed with God and I already know that that's something that I, I gotta work on. I'm learning how to still gather all these good character traits, all these life lessons that I've learned um, and all these strengths that I've been able to develop from over the years, but to also learn how to submit and allow Cam also have a voice, also have a say, also be in charge, um, learn to delegate tasks, learn to allow him lead the home, allow him be the head of the home, while still bringing my, my knowledge um, in certain areas, um, and just the Bible says that iron sharpens iron and so just allowing him to also sharpen me and vice versa So that was just like a little thing um, This video is really just me speaking from my heart. I'm just blabbing About how I'm really feeling about getting married and so I'm navigating those thoughts as well. I'm navigating How am I going to really really be as a wife and just submitting myself to God and surrendering to his plans and to what he's called me to be and who he's called me to be as a wife and not allowing my own selfishness, my own control, not allowing my own very, very small and limited mind determine what God has in mind for my marriage, right? So that's something else. This was a very spontaneous video. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that 
I made a little bit of sense because honestly I was just blabbing but again thank you guys so much for stopping by I honestly I really appreciate it y'all I appreciate you guys honestly I love you guys I love 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 you guys from the bottom of my heart thank you once again for stopping by don't forget to leave me a nice comment to subscribe and support my hustle okay you guys support my hustle support my hustle I'll see you guys in the next video